Hi friends, welcome to my channel Ashok IT School. Myself Ashok, working as Senior Java Consultant. In this video, we are going to understand one interesting concept that is Project Lombok. As part of this video, we are going to learn what is boilerplate code, how to avoid that boilerplate code by using Project Lombok, Project Lombok installation process, several annotations provided by Project Lombok, what are benefits of going for Lombok and what is limitations of Lombok and conclusion about Project Lombok. All right, let's get started. Coming to introduction part, what is boilerplate code? The term boilerplate code describes code that is repeated in many parts of an application with a little alteration. Any code, if we are writing at several places of the project, that code can be called as boilerplate code. If we see in Java applications, at several classes we can find that kind of boilerplate code. For example, JDBC programs. JDBC programs will write to execute database queries from Java application. In the JDBC programs, we will write the several lines of code to load a driver, to get a connection, to create a statement, processing a result set, closing the statements, closing the connections. Same lines of code we will write in several JDBC program with small small changes in queries. The same code we are writing in multiple classes can be called as boilerplate code. Not only that JDBC logic, if we look into our project, several modal classes will be there, which are generally we will call as POJO classes, which are used to store the data and get the data. So let me take a simple example which with a class called book. This class is having two private variables, which is having one default public constructor and we can write parameters constructor also for this class and for the two variables I am writing setter methods and getter methods overriding hash code method and equals methods and overriding two string method so these many lines of code we are writing for our model class similarly if we go to another model class which is plan info here also we are having several variables in this model class also we are having default constructor, parameterized constructor, getter methods and setter methods for all the variables, hash code method, equals method and two string method. Similarly, another model class which is product having some variables, same default constructor, parameterized constructor, setter methods, getter methods, equals hash code and two string methods. If we observe these three model classes, they are having some common piece of logic. Some common lines of code is there that is setter methods and getter methods for variables, default constructor, parameterized constructors, equals method, hash code method, two string method. This code also we can call as boilerplate code in our Java applications. Now, instead of writing that much boilerplate code in the project, we can replace that by using project lombok project lombok main aim is to reduce boilerplate code in our java applications to avoid that boilerplate code in our java applications or to reduce that boilerplate code in java applications project lombok provided simple set of annotations for us so i hope you guys understood what is boilerplate code any code which we are writing at multiple places can be called as boilerplate code. That means same code if we are writing at multiple places that can be called as boilerplate code. For example, we have seen our model classes with setters, getters, constructors, two string equals hash code. This kind of code we can see in almost all model classes. Now, we need to avoid that boilerplate code in our classes for that we can go for project lombok all right now let us see how can we use that project lombok 
to avoid the boilerplate code in our model classes. To do that first, we need to install Project Lombok in our system. Now, first, we need to download Project Lombok jar file from the website that is projectlombok.org. So, let's go to a website whose name is projectlombok.org. Here we can find the option called download last option in the menu. Once you click on that, it will give you the option of downloading a jar file that project Lombok jar will be downloaded. I have already downloaded the jar here. I have that jar with a name called Lombok.jar. Fine. Now that jar we need to install by double clicking. If it is not working for double click, then we can execute a command that is java space iphone jar space jar file name this command we can execute by using command prompt fine now once we execute that command or if we double click on that jar file it is going to open lombok installation wizard let us try that i'm double clicking on this jar file here it is giving this window for us by default it will search for IDEs which are installed in the system to add Lombok plugin to our IDE. Even if it is not able to scan for the IDEs we no need to worry because we can specify that IDEs location manually by using specify location option. Now click on this option. Go to the folder where we have our IDEs. Now I am going to my STS IDE folder. Spring tool suit, STS bundle, ESTS. Here I have a file with the name called STS.exe. Select that. And here we have option called install or update. Let me click on this install or update. So it is giving a message installation successful. Lombok has installed on the selected IDEs. Now it is saying some instruction don't forget to add lombok.jar to your projects exit and start your ide rebuild all the projects so lombok plugin is added to ide even though we need to add that lombok.jar file to project build path and we need to restart our ides and we need to rebuild all the projects which are there in our ide now i'm quitting this installer so that means lombok jar file is downloaded and this lombok jar is installed in our system and it is added as a plugin to our ide now how can we verify that go to our ide folder spring tool suit sts bundle release sts this is the file which i have selected for our ide here you can see that the jar is added lombok.jar that means this lombok.jar plugin is added to our spring tool suit ide fine so this is installation part for our lombok jar as i told it will auto scan for ides if it is unable to scan you can specify that by using this option specify location then you need to click on this option install or update once that is done you can quit the installer fine so as given the instruction to use this lombok in our project we need to add lombok jar to project build path if you are using a maven we need to add this lombok dependency in our project form.xml file so once we do this then we can take the benefit of the project lombok for simplifying our model classes in java applications thank you next video i will show you how to use this lombok in our project